It is a Women at the Forefront Wednesday and I am joined by one beautiful lady by the name Irene Opondo. Irene Opondo is a strategic manager for the security group Africa and her, her experience in this um, security space spans over seven years. She's here, she'll be telling us more about how she got into this industry and how it is taking her this far. Irene? Welcome to the program. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you very much. It's actually a great privilege to be here. So maybe just to walk you through who Irene is. Mm -hmm. Irene is a mentor. Mm -hmm. Irene is a coach. Irene is a team leader. Mm -hmm. Irene is a, this leader who is passionate about building personnel, helping them realize their optimal capacity. Mm -hmm. Um, Irene is passionate about technology and the involvement of technology in streamlining workflows across diverse industries, security space being one of those. Mm -hmm. um, Irene is passionate about building relationships, relationships that last, building relationships and maintaining them mm -hmm. and managing those. Uh, Irene is a mother. So that's pretty much who Irene is in a nutshell. All right. Yes. Where did this all begin? Just take us to where this career woman, you becoming this career woman began. Uh, so my journey uh, is an interesting one. I started off in 2007 mm -hmm. as an entry level sales executive mm -hmm. in a firm that um, dealt in data, provision of data solutions, connectivity and the likes and scaled up gradually, gradually through determination, hard work, and having a very clear vision. It's important to note that uh, I am passionate about technology. So largely, my experience um, spreads across the uh, technology space. Mm -hmm. So data, then I moved to an organization that dealt with uh, software development that is building websites, in online payment gateways, that is still technology space, mm -hmm. but just business development, revenue generation, growth of market share, that was my space. And I moved forth, still within technology, to an organization that dealt with geospatial technology, mm -hmm. uh, an international firm that dealt with geospatial technology, and then on next now was um, security space. So I joined in security uh, space, all these roles, uh, uh, the previous two roles mm -hmm. um, were management roles where I had to mentor, to, to lead teams, to work closely with teams. Mm -hmm. The next role now was security. That was when I joined uh, 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 the security space. Of course, still revenue generation, business development. I grew, went on into direct mentorship, mentoring teams, working with teams, um, helping teams realize individual goals and ultimately aligning these goals to the organizational goals. And then uh, I now joined um, uh, my current uh, 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 organization where I head the sales and marketing division. So mm -hmm. I'm in charge of ensuring that we are on track in as far as market share growth is concerned, in as, in as far as uh, driving the revenue is concerned, in as far as making sure the team is aligned and in sync with the other teams within the organization and are all working towards achieving um, the overall organizational goals. Yeah. yeah. How, how difficult or easy has this journey been for you? You know, you've done so much. So just ha have you experienced any challenges along the way or has it just come easily for you? Um, no, we wouldn't say it has come easily. But the one thing that um, has worked is um, having a clear focus having a clear vision mm -hmm. of what you want to achieve. Finding out what is this one thing that you're passionate about. So for me, my passion um, is largely in technology. Mm -hmm. So then now trying to gain as much knowledge as you possibly can across industries and trying to see how technology can be embraced to improve processes, to improve systems across diverse industries and spaces so for one it's you have to be focused you mm -hmm. have to know what you want to achieve mm -hmm. you have to have the intrinsic motivation and determination to achieve your goals regardless of the challenges that you're facing mm -hmm. as you walk the journey mm -hmm. yeah well you've talked about achieving so much so what has been your greatest achievement this far 
Uh, so my greatest achievement this far, mentioning that I started off in the year 2007, and mm -hmm. I started off as an entry. Irene Opondo, who is the head of sales and marketing security group Africa, was just telling us about some of her achievements okay. in that Thank field. You. Thank you, Vivian. Um, so yes, uh, as I was saying, um, the journey started off in 2007. And like I had mentioned, I started off as an entry level sales executive mm -hmm. and I was determined to climb the, the ladder. I was very clear about my career growth. My vision was an upward trajectory. And I remember very well, I would sit in interview panels in my career journey and I would be asked my short term and long term goals. And I would indicate that my long term goal, one of my long term objectives goals mm -hmm. was to one day um, sit in a managerial position where I'd be able to make decisions, uh, where I'd be able to take responsibilities that would impact the organizations that I would be working for. Mm -hmm. And today, um, I'm in that position where I am tasked with, with mentoring, with coaching, with leading, with ensuring that goals are met. Mm -hmm. And now, if you asked me to give you one more goal, I would say I would want to be in a position, a consultative position. Mm -hmm. I would like to gain in-depth knowledge I would like to now focus in the security space, have a hybrid of the commercial augment, um, uh, the commercial side of it and the operation side of it and put that together mm -hmm. and be able to guide and direct um, other security organizations within the country. So mm -hmm. that eventually I would want to probably be in that space or be in that position. Right. So that is one of the achievements. The other achievement worth uh, mentioning is my joy when I, I realize that teams that I have worked with, I see an intern join an organization and I help them grow even to managerial positions, that also really, really satisfies me, gives me personal satisfaction. Mm -hmm. Yet another accomplishment is I look at my portfolio. In my experience, I know that people buy from people they like. How do you get to achieve this? By building and maintaining relationships. So I look at my portfolio. Um, I know people say, sociologists say that your net worth is your social capital. Mm -hmm. People buy from people they like. So I look at my portfolio and I know that even if I was to start all over tomorrow, I would have people to talk to. I have built a network. Mm -hmm. So that is also another accomplishment. The last one would be being in a sales and marketing environment within the security space in SGA, uh, 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 security, so to speak, we are driven by revenue generation. So I look back even through the other um, organizations that I have served in, and I am glad about the track record that I leave behind in as far as realizing your quotas, being on track month on month with your revenue is concerned. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm sure there have been challenges along the way. What are some of, the, uh, of those challenges that you can point out? Okay, so today I want to be selfless. I don't want to look at the challenges I've experienced as an individual, but I want to broadly look at the challenges that um, people experience within this space, and specifically mm -hmm. the women, the mm -hmm. challenges that they experience within this space. Mm -hmm. And one of such that stands out loud is um, minimal visibility. The security space is largely observed or, or, or perceived as a male-dominated facet. Mm -hmm. So the minimal visibility that the, the, the female gender is given within this space is one of the challenges they face. There is also the stereotype, traditional stereotyping, which leans very closely with culture, that it is assumed to be a male space. Mm -hmm. Like the, looking 20 years back, the perception we have of a security officer, for instance, is a robust masculine uh, man standing at a door somewhere with a button and with arms crossed and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But we have evolved and things have changed. So with that stereotype and that cultural setup, I think those are the challenges that the female gender uh, face within this space. Mm -hmm. Now looking back at a um, corporate setup, security space, the challenges I face as somebody who is tasked with revenue generation. One of those um, um, would be remaining profitable mm -hmm. um, with, with um, the, the, the tight margins that we have within the security space. So working towards remaining profitable, that would be one challenge. The other challenge would be uh, retaining the talent that you have nurtured. In my position now, 
that is one of the challenges that we face because the market is very dynamic, the industry is very dynamic. Mm -hmm. So retaining that talent is another challenge. Of course, we also work with um, policies are set, set up by the government and, and governing bodies. So again, aligning to those is yet another challenge that we face. And also retaining clients, earning mm -hmm. their trust. Those mm -hmm. are the kind of challenges that I face uh, in my role uh, currently. And how do you retain these clients, maybe, if I may ask? Uh, how do we retain clients? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, value. Clients have to get value for what they pay for. Security is very sensitive. If I would take the example of my current organization, that is SGA uh, Security, what keeps us going is to ensure that we deliver the service that we promise. Service delivery, mm -hmm. maintaining relationships, valuing our clientele, taking feedback and taking it positively and using this feedback to actually grow, to actually enhance our processes mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. yes um how has the space the security space over the years evolved in order to enable women to be a part of it uh so like i said initially the security space um has been perceived to be a male dominated facet yeah yeah mm -hmm. um because the security space initially had this aggressive feel you know it's security it's protection mm -hmm. so there was this very aggressive feel that would be closely associated with the male uh, uh, gender, uh, gender. Mm -hmm. but things are since changing things are evolving and now people want to have a softer side of this security a softer side of it you know mm -hmm. a bit empathic um, a bit soft you you look at the banks you look at the embassies currently they have their front office personnel who also double up as security officers but they have undergone thorough soft skills training. Mm -hmm. These are people whose communication skills have softened. And so with those uh, kind of developments within the security space, then it was important because the female gender um, exhibit these skills much better, mm -hmm. so to speak, mm -hmm. compared to the other gender. Mm -hmm. So these kind of evolutions are what have actually, have actually um, elevated and given a chance mm -hmm. to, to women, for instance, to take up these positions. Mm -hmm. uh, we also look at policies that have been set in place by international bodies like the ICOCA, International Code of Conduct Association. We are accredited members of that, um, of the ICOCA. Mm -hmm. One of the key things that they are focusing on is human rights. We have certifications that are adhering to equality, to human rights and international humanitarian law, which we also are there to as an organization. So those kind of developments have made space for the female gender to actually rise up and take up positions within this male, yeah. rather perceived male-dominated mm -hmm. field. field. Yes. Uh, you mentioned that we, we need, that it has evolved over the years as we, they realize that we also need that soft soft side you yes. know in it and if i may just ask generally what is the role of women in leadership um the role of women in uh, leadership women bring out um certain uh skills mm -hmm. that are not very very common with the other gender one of those that would stand out is you realize being a woman you you're you're a caregiver mm -hmm. from the onset mm -hmm. we have that internal capacity to come out as strong caregivers so when it comes to emergencies contingencies planning we come out stronger we come out more knowledgeable communication skills in leadership that's a very very key skill mm -hmm. we are empathic we are able to relate with situations yeah so that makes us um, better leaders, not, not in comparison to the male, but we have a position to take up within the leadership space mm -hmm. across industries. So that is one, that we are empathic, that we are better communicators, that we can deal with emergencies better, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And I think currently women have just decided that, you know what, nothing is limiting us. We have all the support we need from the systems, from the policies, from the governance that tell us, hey, it's time to wake up and also grow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, as you have put across, it, it